Assalamu alaikum, my sisters, I'm Sandra Aziz, and I want to start this video by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings He gave me. Alhamdulillah, I have my family, my friends, you guys, my mom, dad, siblings, house, food, water, clothes, community, and Tadabaya. I am grateful for all these countless things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me. I compare my childhood to the Prophet's childhood. I can say that my childhood is happier and easier than his. Look at his childhood. He never saw his dad. He lost his mom at the age six, and he lost his grandfather uh, at the age eight. And that was basically his whole family. Found, but, and then he found himself a beautiful and great family. And the father was Abu Talib, and the mother was Fatima bint Asad, who I will be talking about today. Now let's get started. Fatima bint Asad and Abu Talib knew that the Prophet had no one else in the world except them. So they surrounded him with care and love. She treated him better than her own kids because he was an orphan and also because she thought that he had this blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She did, she did not only love him because she he was um her husband's nephew but also because she just loved him from before he even entered the family she always used to make sure that he wasn't cold hungry dirty or unsafe she she was like his real mother before his mother well, unlike abu talib he died before um the prophet migrated to medina and before he became muslim but um, Fatima, on the other hand, she accepted Islam and migrated to Medina with the Prophet because she loved him so much and she couldn't leave him. In Medina, whenever somebody would gift the Prophet something, he would always share it with Fatima bint Asad because he always thought that he would that she was his second mother. So, um, soon after that, um, Fatima bint Asad became the mother, mother of law, mother in law of Fatima bint Muhammad, because Fatima bint Muhammad married Ali ibn Abi Talib, which is um, Fatima bint Asad's real son. Fatima bint Muhammad treated Fatima bint Asad with all the love and appreciation, not only as a mother in law, but as the one who um, raised her dad with all the love in the world. Yes, Abu Talib um, protected the Prophet from all the anger and hatred of the disbelievers, but Fatima bint Asad filled his life with love, happiness, comfort, and peace. Fatima bint Asad um, was a great mother who raised great men in her house. She raised our Prophet. She raised Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, who uh, became the fourth Khalifa, and Jafar ibn Abi Talib, who died as Shaheed while leading the Muslim army in the Battle of Meltem. Four years after um, Hijra, Fatima bint Asad died, and the Prophet attended her funeral. The Prophet said, May Allah fill your grave with light and give you a mansion in paradise. I was an orphan, and you made me your son. You fed me while you were hungry. You covered me with your clothes while you were cold. The Prophet took off his cloak and put it around her. May Allah be pleased with Fatima bint Asad, who made our Prophet her son. I mean, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. But before I finish, um, I really, um, I really loved the story about her of how she accepted her husband's nephew into the family because she loved him and they all felt bad for him. And she was just a beautiful woman who was always kind and was always um, a priest, was always nice to everybody and nice to the prophet. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters.